Thanks for joining us here in the Fox 4 Weather Center. I'm certified meteorologist Katie Walls. It is time to track the tropics. Things certainly heating up across all of our basins. We have several different waves of energy in the Atlantic, including one just to the north here of Bermuda, another wave in the Caribbean, and now a new wave of energy that could potentially become something more right here off the Texas coastline. Regardless, though, this wave right here expected to be a big rainmaker for parts of eastern Texas into Louisiana. So five different waves of energy. Let's break them down individually. So first things first, we do have this wave off the Texas coastline. Only a 10% probability of becoming a tropical system over the next several days. But regardless, it's going to be a big rainmaker for coastal Texas into parts of Louisiana. And flooding will once again be a concern. And then here now entering the western and northwestern Caribbean as it gets closer toward Belize as well as the Yucatan. Not expected to develop before then, but as we head into early next week and that wave enters the Bay of Campeche, it could potentially become something more. Regardless, though, it's going to be a concern for parts of Central America as well as Mexico, but not a threat to us here in Florida. And now just to the north and west of Bermuda, several hundred miles off of the North Carolina coastline, we have this wave of energy could potentially become something more over the next several days as it works its way off toward the north, heading toward the Canadian Maritimes. So it does possess some tropical and subtropical characteristics. Regardless, though, it is going to be kicking up some rough surf, rough beach conditions for our friends there for parts of the mid-Atlantic coastline. And then let's talk about these two different waves of energy right here in the Atlantic. Right now, this wave, which was looking promising earlier on, that's going to be pushing into very strong winds a lot. That's going to help to kind of rip it apart. And that's why that likelihood of further formation is now dropped to just 10%. Same story with this wave of energy just to the west of the Cabo Verde Islands, just a 20% probability of further formation as we look ahead to next week. So lots to track, but thankfully nothing of immediate concern for us here in Southwest Florida.